with liveness assertions, another common reason for false negatives is that uh, inputs are always keeping the design doing something or stopping the design doing something. So, for example, uh, new packets continue to enter, causing whatever resource was not available to still not be available. And remember, the tool is trying to find any way it can in order to prove your assertion fail. So things like state machines, if there is a, some combination of input signals which will stop a state machine and you write an assertion saying, if I'm in state one, I always end up in state two. Uh, that's going to fail because the design will just hold the inputs in a way that will store your state machine. So these are typical examples here. We've got a request coming to the DUT and we've got a start input and a done output. And we say if we have a start occurring, eventually we observe a done. Okay, so here we've got start, done is low. And the reason we had a start is because we had a prior request. And once we had a start, all the tool has to do to falsify your assert is to keep making requests. So as we can see from this waveform, it's not sufficient just to say, assume that eventually I don't have a request because that's not going to solve this case. That assumption is honored here because it just requests, drop the request, make another request, drop the request. And there's no way the design can outrun what the uh, tool's trying to do with the input. So what we need to do is be able to forbid new input requests during the loop. So remember we talked about counter examples during that loop. We need to prevent new requests. So how do we do that then? S underscore eventually not request. That means we um, don't get a request in the loop ever. But we have to be careful with the request signals that might stay high before actually being acknowledged. So we don't want to force request to zero during a loop. Only force subsequent requests from occurring during the loop. So what we can do is create an auxiliary code signal called new rec, and that's indicated by a request and no past request on the previous cycle and no past acknowledge on the previous cycle. And assume that eventually there is always not a new request. So the new request, we have a request here and the previous cycle we didn't have a rec or an ACK, therefore new request will go high. It will go low again here because the rec is, that goes high here stays high, so new request won't be true because this condition not dollar pass rec will not be true. We have an ACK here, so that will also give us a new rec, because that's dollar pass rec or dollar pass ACK. In this loop here, indicated by this uh, yellow shading on the back, we can't have new requests anymore here, because we've said S underscore eventually always no new rec. Okay, so although we've got an outstanding request occurring here that doesn't get responded to, we can't make new ones, or the tool rather can't make new ones.